Tonight marks four weeks since Malaysia Flight 370 vanished. It would be about this time that the batteries would be running out on the beacons inside the flight recorders. Searchers west of Australia listened for those so-called pingers today, but there were no discoveries. Could a new technology have made a difference? Jeff Pegues has been looking into that. When Air France Flight 447 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean in 2009, the search for the cockpit voice and flight data recorders took two years and between 40 and 50 million dollars. But the search might have been significantly shorter had the plane been outfitted with so-called deployable black box technology. When a plane crashes into water, a deployable black box would eject and float, making it easier to find critical information about the plane. The technology was put to the test in a $9 million Transportation Security Administration program between 2010 and 2011. According to a report obtained by CBS News, the test concluded that the technology enhanced security and safety on commercial aircraft. U.S. Navy jets such as this F-A-18 have used deployable black boxes for two decades. But nearly three years after the TSA study, no U.S. commercial airline has installed the technology. Well, if it's good enough for the Navy, why isn't it good enough for commercial planes? That's the question I've been asking for 10 years. North Carolina Congressman David Price has sponsored legislation three times that will require deployable black boxes on commercial planes that fly long distances. All three times the legislation died. Cost may be a factor. The price of putting the technology in a new plane is estimated to be $60,000. But Price says that's nothing compared to the cost of an underwater search for wreckage. Do you think it's worth spending the money? You take one of these searches and you've paid for black boxes for every aircraft you can, you can think of. Congressman Price plans on introducing new legislation, but ultimately it'll be up to the FAA to mandate any new equipment. Scott, today a spokesperson for the airline industry told us that it's premature to speculate about any changes to planes. Jeff, thanks very much.